Hi Brett, this is our third video on the FA 22 litre uh, turbo engine which is out of the current model WRX. Here we are in 2018 and you may remember our previous videos we spoke about what the engine looked like internally and the comparisons to the earlier 2.5 litre and 2 litre EJ series engines with the rubber timing belt. So what we've got the opportunity to do now is before we've put the front on the engine, I want to show you what it looked like completely assembled and we're going to talk about in this video the differences of the oil pump and the oil cooler and some of the noise suppression parts that Subaru have fitted to this model which is not on the older engines but it's interesting to know how it works. So let's just have a look at the front of the engine first. You remember our previous videos we spoke about the um, timing chain running the variable cam control pulleys on the end of the camshafts, the twin tensioners that keep the chain tight, the front of the crankshaft. Now when this part here gets bolted on the front you'll notice inside here although it's not easy to see this rotating part in here um, is connected to the crankshaft here when you pull the bolt off and it all goes back together and that part of the crankshaft lining up with that flat part there lines up with this um, guide inside here and that actually as it turns drives the oil pump which is inside this assembly here and just for comparison's sake that's what the original oil pump looked like on an EJ series engine which comes in various different sizes depending on the year model and it's quite a common thing to replace when you do an engine rebuild. So on a EJ series engine that's the connection through the middle there um, for the crankshaft. Now the other thing I want to talk about as well is um, the oil cooler and the oil filter which of course sits on top of the engine on an e, um, the FA series engine but on the EJ series engine it sits underneath and what a lot of people don't realise is when they do an engine rebuild the importance of um, this part here needing to be replaced because it's a heat exchanger that converts the heat out of the um, oil through the water that runs through here from the engine radiator and inside there is a lot of fine um, galleries which often get contaminated with debris if you've got um, a mechanical damage internally on your engine when you're doing a rebuild and of course the um, factory oil filter sits on top. Now the other thing I wanted to talk about as well is you can see inside this cover here the sensors that are uh, in place for the um, pickups of the front of the camshafts when this is all goes back into place and these sensors here on the inside of the timing case cover are also critical parts of the way the engine operates and they line up with the front of the camshaft when this all goes back together and you'll notice this wheel here with the notches on it, that's the chopper wheel which creates the signal that this sensor reads which then goes back to the engine uh, ECU to um, know what the engine is doing with regards to the variable cam control and the rotating of the camshafts. So a couple other small things that we'll talk about as well when the engine's gone back together is you'll notice these rubber components that fit back over the um, high pressure fuel pump, the high pressure lines and inside here. Now Subaru does that for a reason is to reduce um, engine noise from the high pressure assembly and that's something that is different on this model that was never done on the previous engine and also I'll show you this but if you get my camera around the back this is the, the, the throttle body on this model is under slung comes up inside the plastic inlet manifold it's the electronic throttle and this part here connects to the intercooler but on the earlier model um, FA series engines and some of the current model ones this rubber connector hose here which sits on the end of this fitting here can sometimes pop off and cause you boost leaks so if you've got any mechanical problems or what you think may be a, um, a problem with uh, boost on your engine um, that's one of the things that we would recommend that you keep an eye on. So that's it for this particular engine. We'll show it when it's back in the car shortly and then on the dyno, but make sure you check out our other videos, of course. We're well, pretty proud of our engine builds that we do here in Sydney. If you want to uh, buy parts, you can go to mrtperformance.com.au for a lot of components um, on our website. If you want some custom tuning anywhere in Australia through our partner network, contact us through our email address on our website as well or go to mrttuned.com.au check out our other videos on this build and stay tuned for the final one shortly but for today my name is Brett Middleton thanks for watching